um, Rick, there's an Abbey Broadcasting Magazine that you should answer. And I said, why? And he said, because it's in Pittsburgh. And I said, oh, I have no desire to go back to Pittsburgh. <laughs> You know, I'd already done this, right? <laughs> um, but I worked there in South Carolina for over 10 years, and I thought I should see if I could get a job. So I literally put together sort of a flip cover letter and made a sample tape of my work and sent it off. And before I knew it, they called me from WQED and said, why don't you come visit your parents? <laughs> I still hold it against them that they did not fly me up for an interview. I had to get myself up here. Um, and uh, I did, I came up, and uh, it was a very memorable day. The woman who had called me um, said, stay for the whole day. And I'm going for a job interview. She said, stay for the whole day. And when I got there, there were nine interviews that I had to do. All kinds of people in the building, you know, as much always here, I wasn't desperate for this job. My other job in South Carolina had just sent me to Australia for 28 days, and I was sort of really happy with my job there. But of course, that's when you get a new job. <laughs> and um, at the end of the day, she said, we'd like you to come. So um, they were so nice to me. I said, I'll need six weeks to decide. <laughs> she said, no problem. So I eventually came back to Pittsburgh uh, I, I drove up on the 4th of July um, in 1987. And you know what, uh, it was really a hard decision. I had no desire to come back to Pittsburgh. Once I got here, I have never once regretted it. It has just been a great ride, a great education. I love this city. I realize now that if I try to imagine a place where I'd like to live, it would be Western Pennsylvania. I mean, it's, it's just um, endlessly interesting, fascinating, surprising, and I get to celebrate that on TV, so I actually get some time to do some of the, you know, research and looking around that everybody wishes they had time to do. So um, 